What up YouTube? This is the Young Chevy Truck YouTube channel where I plan on showing you how to build a 1984 Chevy C10 truck that just burns rubber, ain't meant to be fast, and only meant to be fun for you. In this episode, we're going to go and pick up the gears, the ring and pinion gears for the limited slip differential that I have sitting at the house. Um, we're also going to be getting a fan shroud, a fan spacer, and a couple other things, but the whole big picture of this episode is we're just going to go get the gears for the limited slip it's finally happening. I'm gonna ha I have to buy this stuff in pieces because, you know, money is uh, is an object for me right now. So, gotta buy it in pieces, but eventually I'll have all the parts necessarily necessary. And then we'll go and uh, get the open diff swapped out and then we'll be doing donuts. So, yeah. So, I guess we'll just go ahead and uh, get on the way to Summit Racing and I'll uh, talk to you guys more in detail as the video goes on. And y'all, we're not taking the truck because it looks like it might rain today and I really uh, don't want to deal with the truck in the rain right now. So we're going to take the daily. We're going to take the daily. But another day. Another day. It's a Hot Wheels car, apparently. Hot Wheels. Cool. So, new video on surfboard, too. Surfboard's bigger than that channel. Yeah, weight reduction, Dad. You gotta have the small surfboard on the. Uh... Oh, I said it's a Hot Wheels car. And wow. It... I didn't... You didn't see that. I didn't. No, I didn't, I didn't wow. see that at all when I came in. Alright, y'all know where we're going. They know the drill. To the snack machine. They, they know the drill. I ordered the parts at the snack machine. I haven't eaten anything all day. I'm too excited. What? Really? Yeah. Wow. Too excited. Need to get something on the way back. Something like what? Some real food. Some real food. Yeah. If they don't have my cheeses, I'm gonna kick the machine in. But guys, we ordered the uh, the gear set, obviously. And also, we got this little installation kit that comes with the larger bearings that are supposed to work with the uh, true track. So we got that. So it's a full kit, you know, with gasket and everything. So that's less money I gotta pay later to the shop that does it. Um, also, I have a bigger fan spacer and a universal fan shroud. So I'll put the bigger spacer on there and uh, and put the fan shroud on. And it should help a whole lot with the cooling situation for the truck because it's gonna push the fan in deeper and then the shroud is gonna go right over it and provide some, uh, some awesome cooling power for it. So. My first time buying a gear set, so. Excited. Excited to see what they look like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You said I ain't legit. Look at this. That is so nice. So cool. It looks tough as nails. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, there goes the fan shroud. But you know what? We can go ahead and talk about all this stuff when we get to the house. But for right now, I just want to show you guys, you know, what, what's really going on, what's really happening. So uh, we'll get to the house and then we'll talk more in depth about what gear set I chose and why I chose it and all that. So stay tuned. This is so exciting. So exciting to have these. This is something that I've aspired to have for a very long time. So to finally hold it in my hand means the world. It's donut time, y'all. Uh-huh. Donut time. I smoke them tires and buy a new set every week time, y'all. Uh-huh. It takes time to get there, y'all. It takes time. See, one day we're going to be legit. We can just go and get one of those. We'll just go get one of those because we felt like it. All right, guys. So here they are. Finally, the gears for the tire burning C10 right here. 342 rear gears. Very excited about these. You just have no idea. I have literally been dreaming about having a limited slip diff in this truck for the past four years, but I've never been able to afford it. But I mean, I'm now, I'm sort of able to afford it now. So it's big stuff, man, big stuff. But yeah, the reason why I went with the 342 rear gears is because, well, I know I'll be satisfied with these. I don't really need 373 or higher just because well you guys know ain't meant to be fast only meant to be fun uh, so i figured there's no point to really uh go for the highest uh, ringing pinion set just because like i'm um, i street drive it like i drive it every day like i drive it to work i drive it to school i drive it everywhere 
So I needed something that was uh, going to be kind of friendly, but at the same time is a big step over what I'm used to. And versus the 273 rear gear that was in it, I'm pretty sure a 342 is going to be plenty of fun. Since I'm not used to it, just simply because I'm not used to it. I mean, you guys, I, you guys know I really don't care about the rain pinion set. I really just wanted to swap the diff in there and call it a day. But I figured while I'm in there, I might as well do a little something, something like this, so that uh, you know, so it's one little, one little bump, you know, one little, little step up. This is a really big thing that I've been trying to do for a while, but it's just money has never been there just like that like this stuff takes time for me to get because you know money it's, it's all about the money like i <laughs> this stuff costs so but we're getting close i just read also that there's a 500 mile break-in period that goes along with the limited slip so i'm gonna have to get this thing swapped in as soon as possible because 500 of those miles are gonna be about 200 miles on the motor because the motor needs to break in a little bit more before it reaches 700 miles, I'm at like five now. I'm at like five or six. So I need to finish breaking in the motor and then I need to get these in. I need to break these in and then we can go start doing donuts instead of just burnouts. I would really like to do donuts. I would like to put the wear and tear on my entire setup when I'm doing donuts. I feel like there's just no point of putting all that wear and tear on your setup for one wheel peels. You know what I'm saying? That why I like waste all of that, uh, all of that hooning, all of that fun when it's just a one wheel peel at the end of the day. So I'm saving the, uh, the, the street burnouts for when I have these gears and when I have the limited slip diff in. For those of you who are wondering, um, I'm, yeah, I'm not going to do one wheel peels, uh, in a parking lot as uh, the burnout video for the truck's return, I guess. Like, I'm not gonna, like, what, I just think it would be a very lame burnout video if it was just one wheel peel. So that's why I've been trying to work on getting that straight. So yeah, I'm really excited about this. Really excited. You guys have no idea. But I'm gonna be working on getting this swapped in so we can go ahead and start breaking them in. And then I'll be driving, doing lots and lots of driving to uh, get us over the hump for the break-in period of the engine as well as the diff. Also, we got a fan shroud for the truck. The only thing I don't like about it is that it's the kind that mounts you know, to the radiator through the uh, those little things that go through the radiator. And I'm thinking that's a very permanent thing and I'm gonna want to, uh, I'm probably gonna wanna take that off eventually to do stuff to the accessory drives and blah, 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 blah. So I don't know, I guess we'll just see what happens. I'll just send it and we'll see what happens. I definitely need a shroud though before the summer comes. And I've been thinking about switching to a 160 degree thermostat also to help. Yeah, and I also got that fan spacer that's gonna bring it further into the shroud. So I guess we'll see y'all. I guess we'll see. Content coming soon. You know, I got things I wanna do to the truck, things I wanna do to the motor, things I wanna do to the rear end. A lot of stuff coming, but you guys will see. You guys will see. But just like that, y'all, I think this one's pretty much over and I really appreciate you guys watching. I hope I covered everything I wanted to say about the gears. If not, then you'll see it in another episode of the Young Chevy Truck YouTube channel. But in the meantime, uh, just know that I'm saving up and I'm going to get ready to get these swapped in. So I just need to actually go and get a quote from a shop and see how much they'll charge me to put the diff in. And I'll probably make that a video also. So yeah, stay tuned for that, for sure. Stay tuned for that. I need to actually go talk to someone soon just so I can see where I need to aim in terms of how much money I need to save up so that I can start doing donuts. I've never done like real, real donuts before. That's why I'm so fixated on getting this thing straight. Like I've always wanted to have a daily driver that can just do donuts. That's all I ever wanted. So just like that, y'all, I think this one's pretty much over. I really appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you stay tuned. Working on the tire roasting. It's finally happening. I really appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you in the next one and have a good one.